Hi everyone, welcome to Ask an Arbor. My name is Kia and this is Duchess, and today I'll be showing you what to do if your Epe fails the weight test. Let's get started. Right. Now, as a brief background, the weight test is used by referees at tournaments in order to ensure that there is a minimum pressure that must be felt by the tip in order for it to depress and score a point. It's really common for a spring to become fatigued wear after a while and just not be as strong. Also, unfortunately, in the past there have been a few incidents where somebody cheated and purposely set their tip to go off at a feather touch, so it's just in place to prevent both of these. For Epe, the minimum weight that it must feel is 750 grams, plus or minus 3 grams. To fix this issue, all you really need is your tip screwdriver and your replacement springs, which you can get from any fencing vendor. If you have a magnetic bowl and a roll of tape, they can make your life easier, but they're not 100% necessary. And finally, to test to make sure that your fix actually worked, you'll want your test box and a body cord that you know works, as well as your 750 gram Epe weight. In order to do this, you'll first need to open up the tip to get access to the spring. Lay the weapon on the table in front of you with the tip pointing towards your non-dominant hand. To make this more stable, you can put the bell guard in the roll of tape, therefore making your Epe positionable and not able to roll away from you. Place the tip over the magnetic bowl to catch any falling parts. This is just my setup and what I find works best for me, so if you prefer a different method, go ahead and use that. Using your non-dominant hand, support the end of the blade and hold the tip down to remove pressure on the screws with your thumb. This also allows you to form a cup with your palm to catch anything that falls if you don't have a magnetic bowl. Then using your dominant hand, just take your tip screwdriver and remove the screws. This may sound simple, but it may take a few tries until it feels easy and natural. Now, if you have a replacement spring, all you need to do is throw out the old one and put the new one in. However, if you don't, you can gently stretch the existing spring, like this, and put it back. You just need to stretch it about a millimeter or so, and while this won't hold for long, it should be able to get you through a couple more bouts until you can get an actual replacement spring and fix the issue properly. And that's it! All you need to do now is put your tip back together by reversing the steps to take it apart. To put the tip together, first put the spring in, and then using the same technique as before, put the button back in. Make sure that you line up the screw holes with the slots in the side. Now, this is the best way that I have found for screw wrangling, regardless of if I have a magnetic or a non-magnetic screwdriver. Take the screw and place it onto the end of your screwdriver, and then use a finger to support it, making sure that it won't fall off or shift orientation. Then, hold the tip in place as before, and you can just insert the screw to get a first half turn onto it until it's independently held in place. At this point, once it's held in there, I can just tighten it back down the rest of the way, and I'm good to test it to make sure that I actually have fixed the weight problem. At this point, I've only put in one screw because it's a lot easier if our Epe is still failing the weight test to get back in with just one screw in rather than having to replace both of them. So at this point, if you have your test box and your body cord and your weight, you can plug it into the end of your Epe and place this on the ground so that it's a nice stable surface. Take your weight and gently put it on the end of your blade and just depress it and when it pops back up, you know you're ready to go. Once, it's, once that's good, you can go ahead and just put in the second screw and you're ready to go. And there you go, your Epe is ready for another bout. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, or other topics you'd like me to cover, please let me know down below. See you in the next one, bye!